Greetings, art friends. We have before us some white paper. Today, we are going to make a mosaic. So in our last class, we talked about colors. We talked about our primary colors, our secondary colors, our tertiary colors. We talked about colors that are analogous and colors that are complementary. If you don't remember, don't worry, I will be going over these things again. Currently, I have some crayons separated out into warm colors and cool colors. So the first thing we need to do is make something worth cutting up. So I am going to take some warm colors and I am going to fill in this whole page. All sorts of colors. This is the fun part. We don't want to put them all in the same spot because we want each, we're going to cut this when we're done into little squares. So I am just, I am scribbling. I know sometimes I'll tell you guys not to scribble scrabble. In this case, you can try and do it in a way where you're paying attention to what's going on. So these are our warm colors. We have our reds and our oranges and our yellows. They are warm like fire. They went flying off my table. I'm going to give you some fast motion and we'll fill in the rest of this page. As you see, now I have my page of cool colors right out of there and my page of warm colors also rip this out of here the next thing we have to do is acquire a pair of scissors which I have over here make sure that your parents are aware that you will be cutting with scissors especially if you are young enough that you are not uh, permitted to do this all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut each of these pages into squares. The smaller your squares, the more work it is for you. Don't make them giant, that means you're lazy. But if you make them teeny tiny, it's going to take a lot more work because those are what we're going to use for our mosaic. So to make squares, I like to begin by making strips. Oh, looks like I have two pieces of paper here. Straight across here. The more you cut, the better you get. I'm just going to go out and take this one and toss it. And this other paper, let's go. I'm going to cut all this into strips. Just like that. Then what I do with my strips, is I put them together, keep your warm colors and your cool colors separate, and I cut them into squares. Remember, every time you cut, pay attention to the pieces that are going different places. Do not make a giant mess because it is not fun for anybody to clean up. All right, I'll go back to fast motion and make more squares. And there you have it. I have my squares of cool colors and my squares of warm colors. I'm going to put them right here. You can see them right here. And now we are going to design our mosaic. Now I've made way more than I need. You can also use magazine clippings, things that you've painted, anything that you have permission to chop into pieces. Now we're going to use the different piles differently. So the simple project is to make a cross. Crosses are beautiful, crosses are important, and crosses are simple. So you can choose if that's the project you want to make or if maybe you want to make something a little different. Decide now if you want to put all of your colors that are the same next to each other or if you want to have some different colors. We're not reassembling a puzzle. We want it to look a little different. But we also want to make sure oh, oh my squares are the same size. That's actually kind of fun. I'm going to go in and go with that. Now notice how the warm colors stand out next to the cool colors. I did my cross with the warm colors. I'm going to do different colors, different places. If you can picture your color wheel, you'll remember that blue and orange are contrasting colors. They are on opposite sides. An easy way to tell this is that blue is a primary color. And if you mix the other two primary colors, red and yellow, you'll make orange. Those are contrasting colors. When you start going into the analogous colors, it gets a little bit more complicated. The analogous, or sorry, the uh, tertiary colors, oh, look at that. If you don't remember, the tertiary colors are the colors that we do not include 
in red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. They are neither primary nor secondary. They're the colors blending in between that make everything so beautiful. So as you see, I'm kind of putting together my mosaic here. The next thing we're going to do is acquire some glue. All right, so if you can see my cross right there and you can work to make your colors stand out a little bit more and really do whatever you want. You can fill in your whole page or leave some of the outside. And this will probably not be exactly like what my thing looks like, but what we're gonna do next, we're gonna pull that aside and it's sitting right here next to it so I can still see it. And we are going to cover this page with glue. going to take our glue, regular glue, this is Dollar Tree glue, I'm not fancy, covering my page with glue, and then if you have a popsicle stick, awesome, if not, just make sure you're not making a mess. This is something that probably requires some parental guidance and supervision for my smaller, younger students. Make sure people are aware that you're working with glue. You also can use a glue stick. And then, now that we already have our design, we simply take our design and we put it on our paper. So I'm going to start with my center, my center square. And I'm going to make a thing. I might leave a little space in between this time. All right, back to Kashima. And here you have it. As you see, I have made a couple changes from my original one. I got a few more of the orange squares from here and a few more of the blue squares from here so the colors contrast. The last thing I'm going to do, and this is if you have glitter and if you have permission, is I'm going to sprinkle a little glitter on the top. I always do this with permission. And not everybody likes glitter all that much, so we have to be a little sensitive to that. I happen to be a fan. And I very carefully will shake this out on the paper. And it gives me sparkly grout. And I have my mosaic. So there you go. It is my cross mosaic. I'm going to let it dry and probably chop it out right there. And uh, honestly, it's kind of pretty. I think I like it. From there, you can do more to it or just leave it. Um, as you can see, I moved my pieces out. I changed some things. A lot of art is decision making, is making choices, and you have a lot of freedom. So use your freedom and enjoy.